this is my experiment, experimental greenhouse project. So uh, I'm hoping to uh, get a lot of uh, fairly detailed results from this to see if it's worthwhile to do a few of the things that I'm doing in the greenhouse. So I've built the greenhouse, uh, sliding doors uh, on it. Uh, I have um, brick walls. Then I'm going to have uh, water held more in the top than, uh, than in the lower one. I'm going to have a, a floor over the water and um, wooden uh, side walls and the soil above the floor. Um, there will be uh, windows, but I'm going to keep them closed as much as I can. Compost barrels will be venting CO2 into the greenhouse. And this is for um, enhanced plant growth. So um, I'm just going to show you some pictures so far of the progress. So this is uh, the greenhouse. Um, this is uh, where the entrance door is. And uh, it's about in, uh, 12 feet long and uh, 9 feet wide. It's snowy at the moment, so, um, but it's behaved well in the snow. This is the underneath of where I'm going to have the, the water stored. And it's got um, uh, cement on the bottom, mortar on the bottom to, to prevent uh, rodents and roots. This is, a, that was a, a gutter and this is condensation on the inside. I'm going to get mini gutters on the inside to capture that condensation and drop it down to the plants. Um, this here is what I intend to do, one of the projects to capture heat from the air and uh, bring it down and uh, put it into the plants. So it's just a fan in the roof is going to blow air down through a pipe and the pipe in contact with the soil will transfer heat to the soil. And there will probably be condensation down there too, and the condensation will run out of the, the far end of the pipe. So The next little video is very similar, and it is if we were doing the same thing into the water below the soil. So what we're doing is we're collecting the heat from the air in the afternoon when the air gets possibly too hot for the plants. And we're pumping that heat down into the water. And then the air comes out drier and cooler at the far end. And that means that um, we're saving that heat so that at night the greenhouse will not um, have a, a very big uh, temperature swing and this should be better for the plants to grow evenly uh, through the day and night. In this as well water will be collected at the end of the pipe. I'm probably going to test about three other uh, heat collection systems too. In one of them I'm going to be pumping water around in a circuit to the um, to the roof of the greenhouse and uh, using that water as um, for heat collection and it circuits from the, the roof uh, closed circuit down into the water container and I will also be testing various different uh, data loggers to see if uh, I can find something that's cheap enough for the average person to use um, so that um, other people can do the same thing. So data loggers for um, CO2, for uh, humidity and for uh, temperature. And um, then uh, the, the next thing is to um, have uh, just enough data. So um, we would be using uh, data loggers in the right place and that also requires a little bit of thought. So hopefully this project will be helpful to many other people and uh, we can all learn from it. My greenhouse will be an all-season greenhouse 
and I want to show people also how to design uh, greenhouses that will suit their climate. So this uh, depends on your latitude, uh, local summer and winter conditions, etc., etc. And um, there's quite a lot to uh, work out to uh, make your greenhouse really uh, good for your local conditions. Thank you.